The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. Okay, now that I've got the toe stop base drawn in 3D, I'm going to come in here and draw the cleat in 3D. So I'm going to zoom in to this part right here. And I'm going to start off, I like the press pull command, so I'm just going to use press pull. You could do extrude. In order to use the extrude command, you would have to come in and uh, region all of that area and then use the extrude command. Whereas press pull, you can just click right inside, pull it up, and then you just type in your distance. So this distance right here would be, what would that be, 2.125. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing, but I need to get rid of these because look what happens if I press pull and I don't get rid of those circles, it actually subtracts out that whole entire thing for me, and that is not what I want to have happen here. I don't want to have a giant hole through here. That's actually a cylinder that's sticking up, so I'm going to delete that, and then I'll press pull. So press pull, click inside of here, and I'm going to pull it up. My distance here is a 3. I like to piece things together as I go, so I'm going to come in here and do my 3D rotate command. Select this, select a base point here. I'm going to rotate this way, and I'm going to rotate that at 90 degrees. And then I'll just use my move command and put that right into place. So grab him, stick it right there, make sure you snapped it together, and then you, oh, that was subtract union these guys. So this button right here, union this and this, press enter, and now it's one smooth piece. What I need to do now is get that cylinder to come out of the top, but that cylinder has a hole going through it, so that's kind of a tricky thing you got to know how to do here. I'm going to take the cylinder in this view, and I'm just going to copy it off to the side. That way I'm not messing with the original. So copy, and I'm just going to take this part of the copy. Oops, I forgot part of the chamfer. Let's go back and do copy again. Ah, where did my copy command go? Modify, copy, there it is. Select this, select this, and that. I'm going to copy that off to the side. And I'm going to do just what I did on the other one. So I'm actually going to come through here and uh, draw a line, midpoint, straight down. I'm going to trim, press enter. And I'm just going to trim half of this thing right here. I don't need this line, I don't need this line. And I really should have trimmed this. Ooh, look, my trim. The reason it wouldn't trim for me is it did not come all the way to a perfect corner. So that's nice to know right now. Let's go ahead and fix that. And I have a fancy command I'm going to do here. I could use the extend command and then go trim out the other side, but I'm going to actually do a fillet. I'm going to type in R enter for radius, and I'm going to set my radius to zero enter. And then I'm going to click on this line, and I'm going to click on that line, and it's going to bring it together in a perfect little corner for me. Thank you, Philip. All right, so now we're going to do the ch -ch -ch region command. I've got to make this one big piece here for this revolve to work for me. I'm going to pull this down, say revolve, select that guy, enter, click here here and I'm going to revolve that at 360 degrees. And I do still have to take a hole right out of it so I'm going to come in here and press pull this hole and again as long as it's bigger than that diameter, the largest diameter, um, then it'll be fine. So that actually has a diameter of 1.42. I'm just going to make it a height of 2 so we can see it the way we need it. Um, and then I'm going to Hmm, let's see the best way to do this. I'm just going to move this guy. Let's pick him up from the midpoint here, and we'll just snap him to the midpoint there. And then I'll move my cylinder down. And 
make sure when you move it that you turn on your ortho, super, super important that you're moving it perfectly straight down. I can see it sticking out of the top and sticking out of the bottom, so that's good. And now I'm going to subtract. So subtract from this cylinder, enter this cylinder, enter. I've got a hole, and all I need to do now is rotate that thing up. So I'm going to do my 3D rotate, select the object, select the base point. I'm going to rotate along this axis, and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. Now it's almost done. I just have to move this into place. So I'm going to do the move command, select the object, select the center of the very bottom, and I'm going to snap it to the center right here. And I'm going to union these guys together. So this and this, enter. Looks good. I'm done with this view. I'm going to go ahead and erase out all of the red lines that I don't need. Even the red lines underneath here. Looks good. So I've got my cleat. I've got my base. I'm going to make a video where we just do that pin. And I'll do that next.